Good afternoon, afternoon to all who have joined us on this Friday, the Friday of Canada Day Long Weekend. We appreciate you taking the time and to be part of our webcast. Uh, as it is Friday, being of, of the long weekend, we promise to not keep you too long, and we anticipate our session to be about 45 minutes today. Uh, my name is Peter Santini. I am the Vice President of HR Management Consulting and HR Strategies. Uh, my co-host today is Jennifer Van Lersel. Jennifer is our senior solutions consultant here on HR Strategies, and I'll let Jennifer say hello to everybody. Hi, everyone. How are you doing today? So Jennifer and I are going to spend some time today talking about increasing employee engagement through social collaboration tools. Let's see. Let's get going. So uh, when you have time, you can take a few minutes to uh, read a little bit about uh, myself and Jennifer, but I'm not going to go to read that for you. You can read that yourself. So let's go. Increasing employee engagement through social collaboration. Employee engagement is a key business driver for any successful company. Today we will discuss how to elevate employee engagement using social collaboration in your organization. We will also walk you through SAP's JAM collaboration tool and show you how your organization can solve problems faster and drive results by connecting customers, partners, and employees. In this webcast, you will learn what is social collaboration, why do I need it, how will it increase employee engagement? Is it just for millennials? How do how digital tools can help? So I thought it would be appropriate for us to start our discussion today by establishing a simple definition of what employee engagement is. I believe the Gallup definition captures what the general business community would accept as good definition of what engaged employee would look like. So an engaged employee are highly involved and enthusiastic about their work and workplace. They are psychologically, psychological owners. They drive their performance and innovation and move the organization forward. Not engaged. Employees are psychologically unattached to their work and company. Because their engagement needs are not being fully met, they're putting time in, but not energy or passion into their work. The third category, actively disengaged, are the ones that we're actually more focused on. Employees aren't just unhappy at work, they are resentful that their needs aren't being met and are acting out their unhappiness. Every day, these workers potentially undermine what their engaged co-workers can accomplish. And I think we can all agree that an actively disengaged employee can be very disruptive and problematic to any organization. For the, for the mo most part of the past decade, uh, employee engagement and disengagement has evolved to become a vital business focus and metric for the majority of organizations and businesses around the world. As we continue to move forward uh, toward a knowledge-based economy and knowledge-based workers, more and more time resources, and capital are being directed towards increasing improving employee engagement. Here are some stats to support this reality. 52% of U.S. workers are present but not engaged or inspired at work. 30% of U.S. workers are engaged and inspired at work, those that are engaged. 18% of U.S. workers are actively disengaged. They're the disruptors. Gallup estimates that actively disengaged employees cost the U.S. economy $450 to $550 billion in lost productivity, which is a huge number. Employers are rapidly catching on to the positive ROI of investing in their employee engagement efforts. The current annual employee engagement spent in the U.S. is about $720 million, and that is expected to increase over the next 10 years to $1.5 billion. Sorry about that. So increasing employee engagement investments uh, by 10% can increase profits by $2,400 per employee per year. Highly engaged employees are 38% more likely to have above average productivity. Companies with engaged employees outperform those without by up to 20% or 220, 202%. Sorry about that. Companies with engaged employees versus their competitors 
with low engagement levels enjoy two and a half times more revenue growth. Highly engaged employees are 87% less likely to leave the company that they work with other than their counterparts. And that, that estimate is about $11 billion lost in annual, in, uh, annually due to employee turnover. Again, as you can see from the statistics, employee engagement is a significant business uh, focus and has significant issues in terms of running your business and keeping top talent. So why is it important for organizations to focus on employee engagement? The benefits of high employee engagement. Organizations with high level employee engagement score 22% higher on productivity. With high engagement, high turnover organizations report 25% lower turnover and lower turnover organizations report 65% lower turnover. Basically, higher engaged employers have lower turnover. Business that report above average employee engagement have a 70% higher likelihood of success than those that have below average engagement. Engagement also improves the safety of employees. Molson Curves found that engaged employees were five times less likely than disengaged employees to have a safety incident. And the Fortune 100 manufacturing company was able to lower their quality errors from 5,658 parts per million to just 52 parts per million over a few years. To summarize, higher employee engagement levels have a distinct impact on company financial and non-financial performance. It's, it's productivity levels, it's customer satisfaction ratings, and its ability to innovate and, it's, and to continue its longer term sustainability. So now that we know that employee engagement is vital to our business future, let's spend some time discussing and highlighting some key trends to improve employee engagement. Purpose of work. Successful, engaged employees have a sense of purpose. Why am I doing this job? How do I contribute to the company's mission and values? It also is broader than just their job or the company. Uh, purpose of work ties into social responsibility practices like charitable giving, volunteering, environmental impacts. The closer uh, and the ability for an employee to feel connected to something that the employer is doing in, uh, in the world or in their community uh, improves engagement. Professional development. Engaged employees have a drive to grow and improve, and failing to empower their development can lead to stagnation and disengagement. I'll give you an example of a, a, a program that I actually uh, was able to implement uh, at a company I worked for in my career called Bell Express You. The example I'll give you is a, what we called the LIFE program, which stood for Learning Investment Fund for Employees. So typically in our budgets, we would budget for the typical corporate related learning development, skills development, anything that's required for someone to learn to do their jobs effectively. Uh, and that was very well take, uh, accepted. However, we, we heard that employees wanted to uh, take advantage of learning other skills and learning other types of uh, knowledge. So we developed this program uh, and the opportunity was that for every dollar the employee spent on learning uh, something that was important to them, the company would match that dollar to a maximum of $500 per year. So, and there was no restriction. So if an employee wanted to take a cooking course, art classes, learn the piano, whatever it was, they had that opportunity with co-funding with, with the company. It was a very popular program. And we, when we did our engagement scores, uh, that program, uh, was really tied to increasing engagement by at least two or three points uh, every time we looked at our engagement uh, scores. So looking at professional development as well as an individual development improves employee engagement. Employee wellness. A workplace environment that supports physical, mental, and emotional well-being is critical to drive employee engagement, as well as diverse, diversity and inclusion. A workplace environment that reflects the community, has a diverse employee population, 
accommodates persons with disabilities and respects different religious beliefs, this creates a, an environment of belonging and acceptance, which drives engagement. Now, I think I want to mention that it's natural to think of diversity and inclusion from a talent management side of the issue, hiring, promoting uh, underrepresented groups, uh, but diversity and inclusion uh, doesn't necessarily just have to be on the talent management side. It's about building awareness and increasing knowledge through cross-cultural lear cross -cultural learning, diversity training. These things have a significant impact in making employees feel connected to uh, the multitude of cultures and uh, people within an organization. And again, the greater you can make people feel belonged, belong to an organization and connected to each other, the greater the engagement level will be. So the other uh, two aspects would be flexible work environments and employee experience. A flexible work environment looks like flexible work schedules or, uh, that are prevalent in modern organizations and offering this kind of flexibility to, as a common element found in highly engaged work environments. The trend is to allow workers to stay engaged with work on their own terms. For here's an example. TELUS categorize its employees into three groups. They have what they call teleworker, a mobile worker, and a resident worker. These types of um, in, in uh, working environments uh, is critical to them because they estimate that about 47% of their workforce is typically outside the standard office environment on any given day. So for them, Having a flexible work environment uh, allows them to uh, work effectively, uh, efficiently, and keep their employees engaged. The employee experience. Organizations that successfully leverage employees' experience start with their employees at the center of the organization and work from there. The employee experience encompasses observations, thoughts, feelings, and day-to-day -day interactions. Keep in mind, that there are three essential elements to driving a positive employee experience. Employees' well-being, the culture they're in, and the engagement they feel as to the organization. In essence, it's a holistic approach to looking at the employee from different perspectives, which then improves their overall experience, which then improves their overall level of engagement. Last two areas I'm gonna talk about is people analytics, and recognition and reward. Collecting and using data from pulse surveys to collaborate from to collaboration tools captures data that we can help individuals and teams make decisions and analyze employee engagement, predict the future behavior and inform solutions. We use all kinds of sources of data collection uh, now these days to better inform and educate ourselves and our leadership on uh, what areas we should focus on from our people's perspective. People Analytics is an important tool to help drive engagement because it helps uh, identify and focus uh, where areas of, of need are in the organization. And if you, if you don't use data, it's typically difficult to get people to buy in and accept what you wanna do. So it's very important to use data to get leadership buy-in so that you can get the resources you need uh, to improve engagement. Uh, re recognition and rewards. Having multiple forms and processes to provide employees recognition for their contributions are is extremely important, and they have to be diverse. It has to be individual, team, peer-to-peer, -peer, all kinds of opportunities, customer to employee, any any types of recognition and reward system that you can tie to multiple sources will help you improve uh, your employee engagement. Therefore. If we move on, uh, we'll find that you can say that employee engagement is a multifaceted animal. There is no one trick pony that will quickly and easily improve employee engagement levels in your organization. Each organization must find ways to implement practices and proceeds that address the specific culture and needs of the organization. However, if you use these eight pillars as a roadmap, I am confident that you will be able to make progress on your employee engagement journey in your company. Now I'm gonna switch it over from engagement 
and talk about what social collaboration is, as our topic is today, how you drive engagement through social collaboration. So social collaboration refers to processes that help multiple people or groups interact and share information to achieve common goals. Such processes find their natural environment on the internet, where collaboration and social dissemination of information are made easier by current innovations and the pro proliferation of the web. Social collaboration is an extension of what humans have been doing for eons and collaborating with each other to solve problems. In today's modern world, social collaboration is also known as enterprise social networking or enterprise social networks basically using the technology to connect people in various ways to share ideas, share thoughts, and build relationships uh, with individuals that you may not even see uh, on any given day in your organization. What's the difference between social collaboration and social networking? Important distinction here. Social collaboration is related to social networking with the distinction that while social networking is individual centric, social collaboration is entirely group centric. Generally speaking, social networking means socializing for personal, professional, or entertainment purposes. For example, LinkedIn, Facebook. Social collaboration on the NIN means working socially to achieve a common goal. And for example, that would be GitHub or Quora. Bringing people together to work on solving problems. So let's look at the impact of digital social collaboration on employee engagement. It's no surprise companies that integrate collaboration tools perform higher in comparison to those who don't. So employees working in environments with digital tools were 51% more likely to have strong job satisfaction, 43% more likely to be positive about their work-life balance, and those that don't have access to these workplace technologies. 73% of employees using digital tools reported a positive impact on their productivity and 70% cited improved collaboration. Employees were also 60% more likely to say that they are motivated at work and 91% more likely to praise their company's vision for using these digital workplace technologies. So let's now connect employee engagement, and social collaboration. If you recall, I mentioned some key trends to drive employee engagement. Purpose of work, professional development, employee wellness, diversity and inclusion, flexible work environments, people analytics, employee experience and rewards and recognition. Let's spend some few moments and see how social collaboration can ignite engagement. So, Engagement empl engaged employees directly in, 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 in social collaboration tools engage employees directly and continuously. We're talking about employee feedback, employee input. Enterprise social collaboration breaks down organizational silos by providing secure, accessible platform across the entire business. This platform provides a mechanism to cascade messages, take pulse checks, manage teams and projects, work with internal and external parties, find experts, and interact faster and effectively. Two, minimize time to contribution. Focus on onboarding. New employees often face daunting learning curves when they join in an organization, lengthening the time for them to reach a full productivity and be able to contribute, contribute. Enterprise social collaboration can connect new hires with people and content they need, thereby reducing the time of the contribution of ultimately increasing retention. Three, facilitating agile learning. Talk about continuous learning. Enterprise social collaboration can help increase the knowledge retention and productivity of employees by tapping into their natural social learning style. It can do this by helping connect people to productively share information in ways that further learning, uh, furthers learning and faster and easier. Four, Enable employee virtual connection across location, the employee experience. Enterprise collaboration solutions provide a flexible, easy to use solution for connecting employees other than employees 
uh, to other employees from multiple locations, cities, countries, all around the world. When you allow your workforce to leverage the wisdom of the crowd, preserve knowledge, share success, and get fast answers, your employees will find it easier and faster to make good business decisions. Five, transform performance management from a rewards and uh, recognition perspective. An enterprise social collaboration solution enables you to cascade messages, give direction and guidance, and easily help your workforce create and share goals. They put people at the center of the process to ensure process is inclusive, collaborative, and results driven. And number six, work happens anywhere. Flexible work arrangements. Enterprise social collaboration ensures that your employees can access information and people they need while mobile, mobile and never miss a beat. So according to a 2012 study by the National Study of Employers, 63% of US companies allow employees to work from flexible mobile locations, either from home or by telecommuting. Again, back to that, work happens at any place at any time. The ability to provide your workforce, the ability to work in different locations, different schedules, will definitely increase their uh, engagement levels. So let's now move on to a segment of the workforce that is not, um, that is actually very familiar with social collaboration, engaging millennials. Engaging millennials. Millennials have drastically different outlook on what we expect from their employee experience. Typically, they are well-educated, skilled in technology. I know that for a fact with my two millennial daughters. Uh, they are very confident, able to multitask, and have plenty of energy. They have high expectations for themselves and prefer to work in teams rather than individuals. Millennials seek challenges, yet work-life balance is utmost importance to them. They realize that their need for social interaction immediate results in their work and desire for speedy advancement may be seen as a weakness by the older colleagues. So what's different with millennials? Millennials are changing how work gets done. As they work more in teams and use more technology, millennials have a social giving mindset as well. They want to give back to their community, protect the environment, do good. Almost 70% say that giving back and being civilly engaged is high on their priority list. Millennials have a desire to be creative. Millennials have grown up in a time where information has become available instantly. Through a Google or Wikipedia search, answers to even quite complicated questions can be found quickly and easily. As such, millennials have developed into a cohort that wants to work on new and tough problems and ones that require creative solutions. The millennial employee is interested in constant feedback on his or her performance. They want to know that they've done a good job. They want to know now. The secret to giving feedback to millennials, uh, whether it's positive or negative, is feedback needs to be structured in a way that leaves no room for misunderstanding. Feedback needs to be clear, specific, to be effective, and needs to be frequent. So engaging millennials, collaboration is key. A culture of collaboration is one of the top things the millennials are looking for in, in an employer. Millennials want to use technology to connect with the world and their peers in ways that allows them to have deeper and more globalized connections. Millennials see the use of social collaboration process and tools as part of their everyday learning experience. This is not a foreign new concept to them, it's the norm. Millennials look for opportunities to connect with people in multiple streams and multiple channels. They know this increases innovation and idea generation. So, from an engaging employee's 
in collaborative ways. Here's some few examples from some organizations. In Procter & Gamble, the company's Toronto's headquarters offers digital workspaces and open concept collaborative workspaces which feature technology to enable off-site employees to remain in touch with each other and their on-site teams. This kind of flexibility makes it hard not to stay in the loop. Uh, Kindred Home Care, it's a 30-year-old company based in a small town in St. Stephen, New Brunswick. It took on the challenge to become one of the first in its industry to start using an internal social collaboration tool to increase productivity and communication. Typically, this industry is very slow to embrace technology. Kindred fared well with this use of new tool. Employees were able to assist customers 300% quicker within the first six months, all while in, at the same time increasing employee engagement. Canadian Tire. Canadian Tire created Hot Ideas, a forum for its IT employees to share best practice, allowing for knowledge and ideas to flow freely among the staff and in a very supportive environment. Manitoba Hydro introduced monthly lunches with the CEO where employees are chosen at random to attend and then ask questions. The idea is to give employees at all levels of the company an opportunity to share feedback and ideas with senior management in an effort to change the narrative on important topics and issues. So collaboration, whether it's virtual, physical, is in our nature, which is why it drives engagement. I hope this overview of engagement and collaboration uh, has been helpful. I'm now going to turn it over to Jen, who's going to take you through uh, the uh, collaboration tool, SAP collaboration tool, SAP SAP, SAP collaboration tool. Jen, over to you. Great. Thank you, Peter. Uh, that was a very good explanation of engagement, why it's important, how it's different for millennials, and how social collaboration uh, comes into that. I especially really like that slide on the difference between the social engagement and social collaboration. Uh, I didn't know that, so thank you very much for that. Um, so before we get right into the tool, I do want to do a few slides just to sh give you a bit of an overview of what we're going to talk about. So SAP has a social collaboration tool called JAM. And JAM really connects your people to your company purpose, right? So it's people and information and experts and the data and all the processes to really make sure um, it's going to bring them all together to drive measurable results. Next. So it, the tool really hits on the pain points of the leaders, right, to connect and engage with a distributed workforce. Uh, it has tools to help you roll out HR initiatives and policies. Um, it is available on mobile as well as on the desktop, so it's going to digitally transform the workplace. It's also going to upskill the workforce by adding to some learning and some engagement with the, that continuous learning. The self-serve options this is available 24-7, 365 days of the week, of the year. It's available any time for employees to have that self-service that they so desire. And then onboarding, it's a great way to effectively onboard their employees and get them engaged before they start, and we're going to show you an example of that. Okay, next slide, please. So this is a sort of <clears throat> workflow of how SAP Jam integrates with every piece in the full employee life cycle. So it can help you at every step of the way with engagement, with recognition, with communications, with support, uh, from recruiting, through onboarding, through learning, uh, performance, it can help you roll out new performance processes, can drive annual benefits, right, open enrollment communications, can share your corporate values, uh, your commitments, your strategy, can streamline your processes, and even in offboarding, maintain some of that knowledge in-house. Okay, next. Oh, so uh, SAP um, commissioned uh, by Foresters a economic impact of using JAM. And they found that it lowered content creation costs by 11%. It lowered onboarding costs by 19%. It lowered travel uh, for training costs by 20% and a 14% increase, um, faster time to solve your issues. 
So you can see this can be a very powerful tool. And last slide. I think, do we have one or two more, Peter? Um, yep, so basically this is the last slide before we get into the tool. So it's really gonna connect people with their business pur purpose, right? It's gonna drive people, drive business results. We're gonna work better. Um, you know, Peter talked a little bit about Facebook and LinkedIn. We really feel this tool is a combination of the two. It brings the best of both, as well as the inter intranet and some other exciting features. So why don't we get right into the product, which is I know what you're all waiting for, and we'll do that. Okay. Give me just a second to get to my screen. Okay, so can we all see my screen? Yes, we can. Wonderful, thank you. So this is the homepage. So like your company internet, this is where you can push out events, videos, highlight activities and groups for your employees. The one we have here is focused on learning. So as we go through, we see that we have a scrolling banner here at the top. Uh, you can add the recently added courses. It's connected directly to our LMS system, so we can search directly here. We can push out videos and other programs that we have going on in the organization, like a mentoring program, if we have a lunch and learn, uh, we have a leadership academy, anything like that. Uh, we can put our blog on here. And here's where we start to get into um, the feed, right? So this is where we have our data feed from all of our groups into one since we're on the home page. And just like any other social media, you can, you can post things, you can mention someone, you can tag someone, you can upload a video or an image or even a document to it to share with everyone. And additionally, anybody else's posts, you can like it, you can reply to it, you can share it to everyone else in the group. Also here on his homepage is a list of the groups that Jeff has recently visited. So these pages that we have, and we're gonna to get to some of these groups in just a minute, they can be on anything, right? They can be new hires, they can be contests. Um, they, you can have your external customers on it. So you can use these for your employee connection, Input and feedback, we're gonna show you one on an innovation challenge. Uh, collaboration on projects. Um, even people that are in the same course together, they can work on group projects together in the system. Can use this to recognize individual or team accomplishments. Use it for continuous learning. We have one customer that's a hotel chain and they have videos of how to properly make their beds. So basically you can keep people connected who are working disparately with the system. There's even a customizable kudos to promote social recognition of accomplishments, appreciation, and teamwork. So let's go into a page. One of the most common pages is new hires, and this is really going to address that employee experience, making people feel connected through that onboarding process. As I'm sure we all know, proper onboarding can increase a new hire's time to productivity by 67%. And this is one of those tools to help with that. So let's start to go through some of the features on the page. So if we start here at the top, we can see that this is a private group. So pages can be private. They can be open to any employee. They can be open by invitation only, or they can be segregated by group, project, course, etc. Or they can be open to the public. You can see here we have 73 members in this group. And members can control how they receive notifications and how often they receive those notifications. So as we scroll through, you see we have, um, we can have some onboarding guides, we can have a video, we can have the latest discussions, uh, we can have your HR contacts right here. Here's your to-do list. We can even have, here's the different assignments. So here's week one assignment, then we can have, we month one assignment and month three assignments and so on. In the recognition, we can have recently joined members. So this way people can reach out just like Facebook and say, hey, how are you? Welcome to the team, right? Getting those connections and that engagement started already. 
you can give your new hires access to this page before they even start. And remember, this is available 24 seven, so they can research and get ahead on everything they need and start all their research before they even start, right? We live in a world of instant feedback. All the information a new hire can want is in this one place. <clears throat> And they can get it instantly, even at two in the morning, right? They don't have to wait until HR is in and available and ready to respond. So if we look here at the top, you can see here's our management team. So we have a page to talk about management, uh, who runs what's part of the company. Here's our HR contacts. Um, this is the company information. So here's the policies. Here's the facts and figures. You can put benefits here. You can have another page for benefits. And then there can be discussions about different points. And you can also designate certain people as experts. So if Tessa is answering this question, she can be designated as expert or HR expert or benefits expert or wellness expert. So this way, the new hires, if they don't know who Tessa is, knows that the question is being answered by one of the experts in that field in the company. So let's look at another page. So this is the sales enablement group. This group is going to focus more on that continuous learning, uh, engagement, and being connected. Groups like this can be available either to internal employees or also external customers or sales reps where they can have access to this to get information on your products, your, customers, your references, your product brochures. They can just come right here. They don't have to ask somebody directly for that information. They just come here to get it. So as we scroll through this, you can see we have areas for products, references, competitive analysis, industry reviews, and then our different lines of business. Um, we have videos, we have a knowledge base, we have our key contacts, we have our top selling items. Um, you can look at the discussions. Right, again, here's this feed where you can post even ideas, discussions, questions, like and comment. Um, we can also add a poll, which is a way to poll the community on, uh, it's multiple choice typically, uh, and ask a question through that. So this one I particularly love, this is the innovation challenge which is going to get input, feedback, engagement, even recognition. It's really a modern version of the suggestion box. So this is a way to say, hey, we want to innovate within the company. What are some ideas? And have it be open to everyone in the company to throw ideas in and then have their other employees vote and recognize those uh, whose ideas they really like and want to come to fruition. You can put a monetary reward with this um, or just have kudos and recognition. So Jeff is actually an admin of this particular group, so he can do a few more things with this. If we go in, we can see he can edit the group, he can delete the group, he can copy it, he can move it. Uh, he can save this as a template and make another group that's similar to it. But let's go in and edit and see some of the things he can do. So you can see here we can set up the name, we can set up the description, and here's where we set if it's public or private or available to external and then who is allowed to invite members. This is a powerful page. We can include the terms of use. We can have a welcome message that they will see the very first time they log on to the group. We can change the avatar. And here's where we choose if our landing page is gonna be the overview page or the news feed. But we can do a lot more with this and I'll get there in just a second. So you see here we have the calendar, we can customize what sections are available, and it's literally just clicking the checkbox to choose if you want it there or not. Right. So did Jeff can do a lot more than that, so let me show you how simple it is for you or anyone to add or make changes to these pages. IT is not needed. So you see here, we can look at how many views this page has had. We can edit this page. We can translate this page to another language. We can look at any versions that we've had for version control, or we can copy it, or we can delete it. So let's go in and edit, and I'll show you that powerful editor that we have. So as you see here, everything is done with widgets. 
gives you a little example here, a little almost tutorial on how you can add widgets absolutely anywhere you see this plus sign. So at the top, the bottom, the left, right, even in the middle of the page. And then you can just drag and drop to move things around. So let me show you the types of widgets that we have. So I'm going to add a widget up top just so I don't have to scroll down. And you can see here we have quite a few types of widgets to choose from. It can be multimedia, images, text add a poll, a slideshow. We can add people, link to other groups. We can add a forum, we can add an event, we can add a knowledge base, uh, newsfeed, even tasks. Um, let me pick one and show you how it is. Let's pick a banner, right? Because usually banners are a little intimidating to make. Wait till you see how easy this is. How many do I want? I want four pictures to rotate in my banner. Then I literally click this drag and drop of images from my computer, or I can link it out to the, inner, the web title. I choose if I, where I want any title we have, if I want some text. Do I want it on the left, on the right, on the top, on the bottom? That's it. Your rotating banner is done. Then once you finish that, you see that you can save the draft. You can preview it in mobile. So it's mobile optimized, so you can stay engaged and connected anywhere. And then you can publish your changes. We haven't really made any changes, so I'm just going to hit example or hit cancel. <laughs> so let's show you one more example. So this is an event, and this is showing you how you can take an event, a seminar, a conference, and make a collaboration group around that. So here we have the event. You can promote the event. You can have a video about the event. You can feature different speakers. Um, everything you'd want to know. Where's the registration? What are the facts? Is there a mobile app? Um, I love you can have a map right here. You can put the agenda. And then up here at the top, you have a separate area for the speakers to go into and put the information that they need for their uh, presentations. And then for the attendees to come in and download that information to get what they need for the sessions. And then, of course, live from the event, you can have somebody constantly posting to this feed, and everyone in the group would get that feed live as the event is happening. And of course, then they can respond to like and reply and sharing, et cetera. Okay. So I hope um, that you've seen the value in this fabulous, easy to use tool. Uh, I, I hope that Peter's given you some insights into the importance of social collaboration and employee engagement, and that I've shown you how this tool can bring together the people the data and processes to increase the employee engagement and to drive measurable results in your organization. I want to thank you for your time today. We will be sending you a link to both the PowerPoint and the video recording. I just want to say thank you and have a great weekend. And I'll just add the same. Thank you for participating and joining us today. And if we can be of any service, please connect with us and we'll help you to improve your employee engagement or look at how we can to help you look at the collaboration tool, SAP collaboration tool, and how that could help your organization. Enjoy the long weekend. Thank you for, uh, again, thank you for participating today.